Welcome to the Pure 2 120 milliliter bone marrow concentrating system. The double spin, double device bone marrow concentrating system that carries the pride of performance legacy. In this video, we will process 120 milliliters of bone marrow concentrate. To begin, we will prime the bone marrow needle and filter. Use heparin solution 1000 units per milliliter as the anticoagulant of choice. You may also use citrate anticoagulant if heparin is not available. To begin, aspirate 15 milliliters of heparin into a 60 milliliter syringe. Remove the stylet from the bone marrow needle and prime the needle as shown. Then, reinsert the stylet. Connect the heparin syringe to the out port of the BMA filter and prime the filter by injecting and removing anticoagulant. With 10 milliliters of heparin in the syringe, attach a female-female connector to the syringe. Then transfer one milliliter of heparin to each of the 10, 12 milliliter syringes. Using standard technique, Aspirate 11 milliliters of bone marrow aspirate into each 12 milliliter heparinized syringe, filling 10 syringes to 12 milliliters. Connect five 12 milliliter bone marrow syringes to the import of the bone marrow filter. Then connect a 60 milliliter syringe to the out port of the filter. Filter by injecting the bone marrow from each of the five 12 milliliter syringes through the filter into the 60 milliliter syringe. Repeat this process with another 60 milliliter syringe. As a reminder, always swab the needleless ports with sterile alcohol before and after accessing with a sterile syringe. Fill each separator device by attaching the 60 milliliter bone marrow syringe to the needleless port and slowly inject the bone marrow aspirate into the device. Each device should counterbalance each other with equal volume. Place both devices in the centrifuge rotor at opposite ends. Follow the protocol settings provided in the Pure BMC2 IFU insert. Close the centrifuge lid and press start. After centrifugation, the bone marrow plasma suspension should be clearly visible. Bone marrow aspirate has a higher free hemoglobin content than whole blood, so it is common to see a red tinge to the bone marrow plasma suspension. Attach the sterile syringe accessory to the needleless port and aspirate the bone marrow plasma suspension from each separator device. Then open the stopcock to the three milliliter syringe and aspirate two milliliters of bone marrow red blood cells. Transfer the aspirated solution from both separator devices into the single concentrator device as shown. Inject the bone marrow red blood cells first. Then the bone marrow plasma suspension.
always attach the clear non-vented cap to the bottom port prior to centrifugation. Be sure to place the clear non-vented cap to the bottom port of the counterbalance device as well. Counterbalance the concentrator device with equal volume and place back into the centrifuge rotor at opposite ends. Follow the protocol settings provided in the Pure BMC2 IFU insert. Close the centrifuge lid and press start. After centrifugation, the bone marrow buffy coat layer will be clearly visible at the bottom of the device. Attach a sterile syringe to the needleless port and aspirate the bone marrow plasma leaving 14 milliliters of solution or the desired amount in the device. Resuspend the cell concentrate back into the plasma by rocking and swirling the device back and forth. Do this until all of the concentrate have been resuspended into the plasma and is no longer visible at the bottom of the device. Attach the syringe to the needleless port and tilt the device to aspirate the bone marrow concentrate. This concludes our processing video for MSITE's Pure BMC2 120 milliliter concentrating system.